1.7 has just been announced guys and today i'm gonna go over all the changes while playing some ranked games so it's gonna be interesting all right guys here we are we're good stirring here on the map star so let's get this thing started all right guys i'm gonna be attempting to read through all these battle changes while playing the game i'm playing darling village super monkey so one of my favorite strategies but um let's get this thing started so the first balance change or first new addition rather is gonna be pat fusty is gonna be added to the game or it's pat yeah, Pat Fusty is how you pronounce it, I think. But um, that's going to be really interesting. I'm excited for that one because Pat Fusty was a really anticipated hero. And the nice thing about it is the level 3 ability adds plus 1 damage to the towers nearby it, which is kind of like the DJ Bin ability. However, it has no cooldown there. So I'm definitely going to be trying that out with Dart Link quite a bit and seeing how that kind of works around. It might work well with Tack as well. I'm interested in that. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, The next thing here is that the blink screen is being uh, replaced by new season reward screen basically the way season reward screen is going to work is um you can do quests for bling items now and that's going to be really interesting as well i'm excited to see that next thing is that private matches Ooh, this is probably the most controversial part about the update guys the private ma the new private matches are probably the most controversial thing about the update so you know how recent they've had the play with fire mode the r force uh, mode the speed mode all that stuff basically we still have those modes but they're in private matches now, but to play them in private matches, you must have VIP. So, um, it doesn't change anything that was before. If you don't have VIP, it's just with VIP, you can now play those in private matches. Now, I know some people are don't like this because it's behind a paywall, and obviously, some people don't like that stuff, which I understand. But um, personally, I, I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily because it's not taking away any content from what there was beforehand. And Ninja Kiwi does need to make some money somehow, obviously, but... um. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. But now onto the balance changes. This is the stuff I'm excited for personally. The balloon sins, guys. So grouped reds have been um increasing price by five dollars from fifteen to twenty. Oh my gosh, that's actually a pretty big um nerf to grouped reds. The gr spaced blues income has been decreased from one point three to one. Grouped blues has been decreased from one point three to one point one. That's another pretty big nerf for grouped stuff. Spaced greens have been Increased by four dollars. Um, at one sec, let's upgrade this. Spaced yellows income has been decreased by 0.2. Grouped pinks. Now this is probably the biggest change for eco guys. This change is going to be monumental. Listen here first. Grouped pinks beforehand were 65 dollars to send, but now they're 60 dollars to send, and that is the main eco balloon that uh, eco players send. Every time you click that button, it's going to be five dollars less, which is actually a very big change. Now. Grouped pinks are the same efficiency as grouped yellows are, but double the speed you get eco at. So that is going to be really interesting right there. Grouped whites and grouped blacks have also been changed to be the same efficiency as well. So now you can send yellows, pinks, whites, or blacks to get the same efficiency. Uh, pinks give you the eco the fastest though. So a good thing to know. But yeah, I think that's going to make eco strategies very, very strong now. Just that one change alone is going to help eco strategies a ton from pink balloons. Now, Dart Monkey. Here's the here's the tower changes, guys. Dart Monkey, the enhanced eyesight on it, now gives a camo prioritizing targeting option, which is really interesting. And a lot of the other towers that have, like, camo upgrades like that are going to... You'll see similar things from them, basically. Tax Shooter. Um, next upgrade is Tax Shooter. The Ring of Fire decreased in price from 3,500 to 3,300. Inferno Ring base damage doubled from 4 to 8. And Inferno Ring Moab damage decreased from 6 to 4. However, the Inferno Ring Moab damage has actually still been increased by 2 because of the base damage change. So, it's not really a nerf to the Inferno Ring's Moab damage there. It's, yeah, if that makes sense. Also, we need to uh, make sure we don't die here. This guy's sending me, like, so many yellows because he can afford it. All right, let's get this faster barrel spin up. We'll be fine. Holy cow, this man just sent infinite yellows, bro. Uh, we're good, we're good. Trust, trust, trust. Trust in the defense. Yeah, we're good. All right. Next thing, Ice Monkey. Ooh, this is one I've been waiting for balance changes on. Um, let's get the powerful darts up here first. They don't die. All right, we're, we're almost dead. Holy cow. No way this is almost killing me, bro. There's no shot. We'll be fine against round 11 because I have DJ Ben ability, but dang. This stuff is stronger than... Stronger than I thought, homie. We're good, we're good. Alright, back to the balance changes, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the balance changes. So the next thing we have is Ice Monkey. The Cryo Cannon's attack cooldown has been increased from 1 to 1.5. The Icicle Impale has been increased in price by 2k. And then the Cold Snap now allows Ice to prioritize Camo Balloons. 
Now, um, the cryo cannon change, I'm not sure if that changes the attack cooldown rate of the icicles. It might only be the cryo cannon, but that'll be an interesting thing. But that definitely did deserve a nerf, so good job there, Ninja Kiwi. Glue Gunner. This is changes I was actually looking forward to because Glue Gunner is a tower I'm using a lot in my Glue Gunner to hold a Master Series. If you haven't checked that out already, go give it a look. I'm in BFP Coliseum right now, which is pretty interesting. Um, but the Balloon Solver's damage over time now has plus six bonus ceramic damage, which is actually really fun. And the bonus ceramic damage, however, does not carry over to the inside layers. Um, and then the Relentless Glue does have a prioritizing camo option. Sniper Monkey, the Night Vision Goggles gives it pr camo priority option and then monkey buccaneer same thing with the crow's nest monkey ace same thing with the spy plane and then a bunch of changes for the heli pilot guys heli pilot heli ice village with these cha heli changes might be really really strong now because um the pink eco change as well helps eco strategy so let's see what these are the patchy dart ship rotors damage increased from two to four so double the patchy dart ships rotors damage interesting change to do the rotors damage there because that's not something you see too often changing like Rotors, because that's not, I don't know, that's not really thought of as the main heli, main heli DPS, you know? And then the Apache, okay, one sec. Gotta make sure I'm surviving here. Apache Dart Ship's Rotors Pierce has also been increased from 13 to 20. Um, Apache Prime's Rotors Damage has been increased from 2 to 8. And Apache Prime Rotors Pierce has been increased from 13 to 40, all right? Faster firing increases attack distance of darts by 30%. And then IFR gives it the camo targeting um, prioritization thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Next thing, Mortar Monkey. Alright, let's see what they did to the Mortar. Mortars are always an interesting tower. I feel like it's been changed. Mortar's been one of the things that's been hit with the most balance changes, I think. I see it in pretty much every patch. Chattering Shells decreased by 1k. Chattering Shells damage over time increased from 1 to 5. That's a pretty big change. The Incineration Wall of Fire damage increased from 3 to 4. And then Wall of Fire Pierce doubled from 20 to 40. Alright. And the Artillery Battery did receive a nerf. Okay, that's something I've been seeing some people asking for. But the, um, the other Mortar upgrade did not receive a nerf. I forget which one I'm that I'm thinking of the oh, what is it called you guys know what I'm you know, guys know what I'm trying to talk they say about the it's the one upgrade oh, the one upgrade guys the one upgrade all right this guy is also being annoying let's send them some zebras let's be annoying back the top path third tier upgrade I think it's called the one everyone uses with mortar on like t on like um voting site but all right let's let's get this village down we're gonna go for a uh, monkey town here pretty soon. Next change is the wizard monkey. The wizard lord phoenix has got a price decrease of four thousand dollars, and then the camo prioritizing option. All right, ninja gets camo prioritizing option. Alchemist led to gold damage to de leads and DTs from plus nine to plus eighteen. That's gonna be something that's really interesting. I wonder if the lead to gold will be able to defend DDTs if you just like spam a ton of them now, because plus eighteen damage to DTs is actually quite a bit there. So that's going to be something that's really um, intriguing, to say the least. We'll have to test that out eventually in a video, boys. We'll have to test out how Lead to Gold does against DTs. Super Monkey Ultra Vision gives camo prioritizing option. All right. Uh, this is, they're sending me a BFB here. Honestly, it's not fortified, so I'm going to go for that village. Druid. Okay, the Druid changes are going to be interesting. They actually nerfed Superstorm again. They made um, the Superstorm Pierce... From 200 to 150 so it's going to be able to blow back four three zmgs instead of four and it's also going to be able to blow back less dts that's going to be the biggest change the zmg blowback is not that important because those three zmgs is still a lot but it's going to be able to blow back less dts so dt rushes are going to be even stronger against super storm than they were before holy cow i did not think that was going to get close to be honest with you guys i did not think that was going to get close at all but it did all right let's use my rocket storm ability we're not we're not dying here All right, we're good, we're good. Get my super monkey up. Then some zebras. This guy is playing aggressive, bro. Holy cow, this man is... This man is aggressive Randy over here. All right. We're gonna get one of these up. We're gonna get jungle drums up. All right, this should be able to defend. Even though ZMG is pretty far right now, this will be able to defend, trust. We can use that, we can use that. Yeah, we defend, we defend. Alright, fair enough. Go back to Econ. Man was so aggressive there. 
So they're going Darling Ice Village, by the way. So that probably makes sense why they're aggressive, because they have Super Monkey here. We just need to maximize my eco. Yes, yeah, Superstorm Blowback Pierce has been decreased. And then Superstorm now has Camel Prioritizing option. Superstorm's going to struggle a lot to DTs now, though, guys. It's going to struggle a lot. Banana Farm, IMF Loan Bank Capacity has been increased by 5k, and IMF Loan and Monkey Nomics Bank Capacity has been doubled. All right. So some buffs to Middle Path Farm. That probably deserved it. Quincy, Rapid Shot increased by one second. Um, level 5 Quincy gets Camel Prioritizing. Cyber Quincy, uh, Rapid Shot increased by two seconds. And then same thing with Camel Prioritizing. All right. My opponent just died to AI. All right, where were we? I think we just talked about um, Quincy and Cyber Quincy. Okay, next one, Biker Bones. Level 10 ability duration has been de um, reduced. So Biker Bones did receive a nerf there. Which is interesting because Bomb is like not good at all. So I don't know why they're nerfing Bomb there, but fair enough. Um, Azili. Okay, Azili and Smudge Hazy. These are the ones I was also interested in. So Azili's level 10 ability cooldown has been increased between like the time you can use it which is actually really good because beforehand you could like use two abilities during a zmg rush and it was like really broken so that's definitely a good change also we forgot to get my um azili down there but that's a really good change there and then um the xp required per level has been increased by 6.9 percent i wonder if ninja key was trying to send a message there guys with the 6.9 percent i think i think sam from ninja key was kind of wild and out there he he, he was trying he's trying to be slick there he's trying to be slick you know it you know it but um that's a good change as well because this change, Azili is definitely the best hero of, in the game right now, I'd um, say, easily. And this change is going to make it where you will have to spend a lot of money to upgrade a mob hex if they send you around 22 ZMG. Which, um, right now you only don't have to spend that much, but after this change, it's probably going to be a decent amount of money. So, we'll have to see about that. And Smudge Cat, same thing with the XP per level. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes as well, which... I'm not really going to go over the bug fixes. Um, you can read them for yourself. I'm linking all these things in the... What's it called? In the bio of the description of the video. So make sure to check it out. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the video on the patch notes all together. I overall think they're pretty good. The eco changes are definitely going to be the most interesting thing. I think it's going to lead to a very high... Um, I think it's going to lead to a very late game oriented eco meta next season. Which is going to be... Intriguing. I mean, um, Darling Village Super might be on top, ladies and gentlemen. Darling Village Super might be on top, so might have to expect to see more of that, of that on my channel. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like button down below. I'd appreciate that a lot. But that's it for today. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads.